स्टूडेंट्स डेटा uh, लिंक कंट्रोल सब लेयर में हम लोग डेटा लिंक प्रोटोकॉल्स की बात कर रहे हैं स्टूडेंट्स दो प्रोटोकॉल का स्टडी करना है हम लोगों ने द फर्स्ट वन दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑलरेडी इज द सिंपल प्रोटोकॉल द सेकंड वन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इन दिस डिस्कशन इज द स्टॉप एंड वेट प्रोटोकॉल स्टूडेंट्स सिंपल प्रोटोकॉल में आपने देखा था देर वॉज नो फ्लो कंट्रोल देर वॉज नो एर कंट्रोल द सेंडर कीप्स ऑन सेंडिंग द फ्रेम्स द रिसीवर um keeps on receiving it we assume that the receivers can never be overwhelmed the receiver can never um actually get filled up the buffers will actually allow us to um keep on sending this data from the source and um keep on receiving this at the destination students so stop and wait protocol ke andar we actually have both flow control and error control mechanisms in this case the sender sends the frame and then waits for an acknowledgement ack acknowledgement to come back from the receiver students once the acknowledgement comes back from the receiver indicating two things the first one is that the i have received the previous frame sender is telling the receiver i'm sorry receiver is telling the sender using that acknowledgement i have received the previous frame please send me the next one number 2 the frame that you have sent previously has been received error free that acknowledgement is actually going to carry these two messages it's going to come back from the receiver after the successful transmission of a frame once that acknowledgement is received by the sender only then the sender will send the new frame stop and wait um protocol the most common one that we normally use in local area networks today students to detect the corrupted frames once again we use the cyclic redundancy check the crc check and we have discussed crc enough uh, i don't need to tell you what do we do in a crc so stop and wait protocol is our second protocol that we are going to be talking about students on the slide what you see is we have got a sending node once again on the sending side we have got a network layer and on the uh, on the network layer from the network layer we receive the packet which comes down to the data link layer and the data link layer in this particular case converts that into a frame which is this point out here and it starts a timer and it sends this frame using crc over to the sender side if the sender uh um, receives this frame successfully it extracts the data first of all it checks using the crc checker if the data is corrupted or not if the data is good it extracts the packet and gives this packet to the network layer back at the same time what it does is it is it actually um creates an acknowledgement once again your acknowledgement is also um protected from errors using the crc the cyclic redundancy check it adds um the crc into the ac uh, message and then the ac is um sent on this logical duplex link back and once the ac is received by the sending node the sending node or the sender a slash source knows that the uh, previous frame has been um received by the receiving node successfully and it sends the new one 